everyone welcome back to my channel um, I have a very special video for you all today um, I will actually be reviewing four fragrances from Dossier so just as a disclaimer a Dossier is sponsoring this video and I am super happy and excited to be partnering and doing this collaboration with them and a lot of the fragrances that they offer are absolutely amazing and I will show you in just a moment which ones I will be going over. So for those of you who do not know Dossier, I like to pronounce them as Dossier just to keep it a bit more French. Um, Dossier is basically a fragrance perfume company that has a huge variety of different scents and different fragrances for both men and women but the wonderful thing about these fragrances is that they are actually inspired by luxury and designer brands so basically a lot of your favorites you can obtain them through dossier at really a huge fraction of the cost so um, that's like a wonderful thing and I've tested all of them there's one that I actually own the original of it and I was able to compare um, those two together and they are really identical like I could not tell the difference whatsoever everything is packaged really nicely so everything is protected um, it, they all all of the fragrances come in their own individual box as well as a sample so you actually get a sample um, you're able to test it out and if for whatever reason um, you know the fragrance is not for you you can always return um, the bottle itself at no additional cost was which is a wonderful thing um, however recently I've I've learned that they are cutting out those little samples just because they want to minimize any use of plastic to be more sustainable. However, um, you can still test out from the actual bottle itself. And if it still doesn't work for you, you can always return them, return the full bottle and everything at no cost, which is a great thing. So basically today I am going to be reviewing all of this giving you my insight I'm as I mentioned I've worn every single one of them and I've been able to test them out throughout the day because I know that you know our, our pH levels will always be different will always change so it can smell so nice on the bottle but once you actually test it out on your skin and you're able to wear it all day um, that's really the only way to know whether a fragrance is going to work for you or not and as I've mentioned I've tested these four I've worn them all day I've also looked at how long they've lasted and I can say that I've actually been really really impressed so let's actually get started with this review if you guys are in the market for you know a new fragrance or or there's a few that you're wanting to test out but you're just not wanting to you know spend so much money on, on a fragrance um, this is actually a really good option and a really good alternative to go towards too because you are still getting the same sense the same notes but you're not paying just a ton out of pocket so and the bottles are lovely they're actually really nice they're very simple but they're nice and they're elegant and they're classy um, and you're getting a really good amount a good quantity floral honeysuckle is actually inspired by Gucci's bloom so Gucci's bloom retails at I would say around a hundred and four dollars and with floral honeysuckle it's only twenty nine dollars so as I mentioned you're obtaining practically the exact same scent at a huge fraction of the cost which is amazing um, it's actually a really lovely scent so I, I do own a fragrance from Gucci that I tend to wear in the fall and in the winter and Gucci's Bloom is one that I've actually been eyeing for a while just because I've really been impressed with the original bottle that I've had and that I've been using for years that I wanted to try another line from Gucci at the same time I was a bit hesitant to purchase the bottle because of the fact that our pH levels are so different and I've tried fragrances from you know top brands and it just wouldn't adapt so well onto my skin so I was nervous that you know with that one in particular maybe in the end it wouldn't work out because in the bottle it smells so nicely but on my skin it's a whole different thing so that's usually a concern of mine so when I came across floral honeysuckle I got really excited because I thought finally I have the opportunity to actually try a fragrance that I've been eyeing for a while um, and and so I did and I've actually been so impressed with floral honeysuckle 
for various reasons, I think the scent in itself is lovely. It's actually really light. Um, I would probably classify this scent to be more for spring and summer. Um, and how it lasted throughout the day was just amazing. I only needed to apply once and it lasted through that throughout the entire day when normally with fragrances I would have to apply at least twice. Um, but this one with only one time it, it was it was good. It's light, it's you know I, I'm, I'm thinking about spring, I'm thinking about summer, I'm thinking about like a vacation somewhere far away. Um, I'm thinking of the beach. At the same time, it's also really classy. It's very elegant. Bottle itself, it will note top notes, middle notes, and base notes. So the top notes for this is green leaves, orange, honeysuckle. The middle notes are jasmine, tuberose, I think I pronounced that right, and the base notes are orris, sandalwood, and vanilla. The description about this scent that Dossier currently has on its website it's noted as floral honeysuckle blossoms with a dreamy mix of the perfumery star flowers, tuberose and jasmine, with sensuality at its core, natural and tender accents of honeysuckle and green leaves are added into the mix. Petally natural and feminine, floral honeysuckle is a walk in a colorful garden filled with many flowers and plants, a bouquet of abundance. And if you are wanting something, you know, more light, something for spring and summer with at the same time, you know, like feminine and, and classy and floral, I would highly, highly, highly recommend Floral Honeysuckle, especially if you're already a fan of Gucci and you've tried or you're curious to try Gucci's Bloom. Um, floral Honeysuckle is, is amazing and it's wonderful and I would classify it as one of my favorites. Floral Jasmine is also another one that is inspired by another brand. So this one is actually inspired by Tom Ford's Jasmine Rouge. So Tom Ford Jasmine's Jasmine Rouge is retailed roughly around $250. And again, this bottle in itself uh, would actually be $39. Um, Tom Ford is actually a brand that I've been curious to try for, for quite a while. Again, um, I just get so overwhelmed of, of all of these other brands and all of the different scents and fragrances that they offer that I just, I never know which ones to try. But I know that Tom Ford was always on my list. And um, I was really happy and excited when I saw Floral Jasmine on, on Dossier's list and that it was inspired by Tom Ford. Again, you know, here's another opportunity to try um, uh, an inspired scent that I've been wanting to try, you know, from a brand that I've been wanting to try for a while. And Floral Jasmine <laughs> did not and does not disappoint. Um, Floral Jasmine, I would probably wear this scent more for fall and winter, but honestly, it's a scent that I, that it can actually be used all year round. And that's what I love about Dossier's fragrances is that so far, they are scents that can be used all year round. Um, but if I had to nail it to at least two seasons specifically, I would say fall and winter. But realistically, you can actually wear this all year round. Um, the scent is really lovely. It's, it's beautiful. It's like, it's kind of like, like musky. Um, it's so elegant. It smells expensive. Um, it's just, it's a lovely scent. I love it. And again, it's a scent that just lasts the entire day. Um, on my skin, it, it, it smelled the exact same. So nothing changed at all. It adapted well to my skin. Out of the four fragrances that I have here, I would say that Floral Jasmine is a little bit on, on the heavier side, but not too heavy though. Um, this is just in comparison to the four scents that I have here. Um, so it's really lovely. So the top notes for Floral Jasmine is Neroli, Cardamom, Bergamot, and, and Pepper. Uh, the middle notes are, are Jasmine, Lang Lang, hopefully I, I pronounced that right, Broomflower, and then the base notes are Lab Labdanum, Labdanum, or Labdanum, uh, Clary Sage, and Vanilla. So the description is noted as Floral Jasmine unveils all the facets of Jamin Sambak, or Sambak, 
one of the most wonderful species of jasmine native to tropical Asia. In this creation, the voluptuous aspects of this unique raw material, already a fragrance in and of itself, are highlighted with a spicy touch on the opening, a saturated floral heart, and a sensuous base. Exuberant, natural, and self-indulgent, floral jasmine is the scent for jasmine lovers or for anyone willing to discover the scent of this beautiful flower at its best. I am a huge, huge fan of jasmine, and I'm actually going to show you another fragrance that has jasmine notes in it as well, but floral jasmine, if you're a jasmine lover, if you just love the scent of jasmine and, and you love how it adapts to your skin, you are going to love floral jasmine. Floral pear. I cannot tell you how excited I am about this one. And this one is actually inspired by Jo Malone's English Pear and Freesia, which is retailed around $100. So I'm going to tell you why I, I was really excited to try this one, because I actually have the original. I do have Jo Malone's English Pear and Freesia. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to actually compare the two scents and how different or how similar they are. And, and I'm gonna tell you, I tried both of them and I really could not tell the difference whatsoever. So I was really impressed by that because, you know, with Inspired, you, you usually know something, right? But this one, honestly, I really cannot smell the difference. I can't tell the difference. And this uh, bottle is actually $29. So. I was really, really impressed, and um, you know that this scent has always actually been one of my favorites that I use a lot during the spring and in the summer. Um, so I was really excited that Dossier came out with Floral Pear, and it being inspired by a, a fragrance that I actually already have and I already own that's become one of my favorites and I really could not notice and, and tell the difference. So um, this is really beautiful, it's lovely. Um, again, if you are um, a fan of, you know, Jo Malone or tested any of, of their fragrances, you're really going to love Floral Pear. And the top notes for Floral Pear consist of pear, bergamot, watermelon, rhubarb. The middle notes are quince or quince, uh, rose, freesia, orange blossom, and the base notes are woody notes, musk, and amber. So you do have that scent of, you know, the fruitiness, um, but at the same time, it is a little musky, but it's like a light musk because it's balancing itself with, you know, the amber and the woody notes. So it's a lovely fragrance all around. It really is. It's light. Um, out of the four, I would say it's actually the lightest. And the description on Dossier's website notes the following. Ripe pear plays with the acidity and greenness of rhubarb, providing a natural freshness that is signature to floral pear. Paired with a delicate rose and freesia duet, this fragrance highlights natural elements in their simplicity and beauty, paying homage to them without disguising them. Thanks to this construction, floral pear could be worn alone or layered with other floral scents to offer a personal touch to your favorite fragrance. Adapted well on my skin. Um, it lasted all day. I only had a spritz just once and, and that was it. So if you are looking for a scent that's a bit more on the lighter side, floral pear is a really, really, really good one and you're going to love it, especially if you're into like fruity and floral with a touch of like musk in there it's 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 beautiful it's lovely and I would highly recommend it so fruity honey is actually inspired by another Jo Malone fragrance and it's inspired by Jo Malone's nectarine blossom and honey which is retailed around $80 for fruity honey though it's only $29 it's a really lovely scent. It's definitely more on the fruitier side compared to floral pear. So floral pear is more floral and a touch of fruity and a touch of musk. But fruity honey is definitely more on the um, on the fruit side of things. But it's not overpowering. It's, it's really lovely. Um, I personally love it. And again, it's a fragrance that I tested it out. It adapted well to my skin. Um, didn't change at all. And it lasted all day as well. So, so far, all of these fragrances, 
just last wonderfully and you only need to apply just one time and that is it. Um, it is also a scent that I would classify to be more on the lighter side. The top notes for the scent are black currant, green leaves, the middle notes are noted as honey and nectarine, and then the base notes are noted as peach and vetiver or better beer. Um, so it's it's lovely. It's it's beautiful. Again, if you are a fan of Jo Malone and their fragrances, um, you are just really going to love Fruity Honey. It is wonderful. It's lovely. Um, it's also a scent that I would also classify to be used within the spring and summer, but as I mentioned, either of these scents from Dossier can be used all year round, and I've just been really impressed as to how they are actually choosing and, and selecting these fragrances to, to recreate and, and to be inspired by the, by the originals. Um, they've done a wonderful job. Um, they've noted every single detail, every single note. They haven't missed anything. And honestly, I've, I've only, out of the four, I only own the original out of these four, the original. And with the other three, I was just, you know, going off of the description, I was telling myself, you know, there's a possibility they might work, they might not work, because I never felt, I, I never smelled either of these scents in the store, except for maybe one of them. But other than that, I was just, you know, I was, I was surprising myself, and I was going to surprise myself, <laughs> whatever would come. And I can tell you that so far, I love all of these four fragrances that I own, there is not one I do not like. I'm impressed with each one of each one of them. Um, they last all day. They are lovely. They are not overpowering at all, and they've adapted well to my skin, which is also a bonus because it's one thing to, you know, smell from the bottle and to be surprised by the scent as to whether okay I like it or I don't. But it's another thing when you actually apply it to your skin, as I mentioned before, that a scent is either going to adapt well or it's going to change and you're just not going to like it at all. But so far I've just been impressed with these four. Gosh, I just I just love them all. I really do. Oh my goodness, they are just lovely and at the same time, they're just, they're really elegant, they're nice, and they just smell, they just smell wonderful. I'd say the heaviest is Floral Jasmine, followed by Floral Honeysuckle. And obviously from the lightest, it would be Floral Pear to Fruity Honey. So um, they are just really lovely. Hopefully uh, this video has helped you to not only know more about Dossier and their fragrances and you know how each one is like, but hopefully if you are new to Dossier or if you already know about Dossier and are just in the market to, to research and look for a new fragrance, um, you know, I'm, I'm hoping this video will actually be a guide to you. They are scents that I'm going to use over and over and over again and also repurchase as well because I think Dossier has done an amazing job at selecting their scents, knowing which ones to select, and just recreating and, and just being inspired by, by the originals without having to pay so much out of pocket and they're only a fraction of the cost. So be sure to check out Dossier. Again, a huge thank you to Dossier for sponsoring this video. Um, as I mentioned, you know, I'm not going to ever sponsor anything that I do not believe in and I really believe in Dossier and in their fragrances and how they are recreating the originals and how well they are doing it, doing it as well. Hopefully this, this video helps you whether you are new to Dossier or already know of them but are in the market for new scents. Um, they have a huge selection for both women and men. Really going to be impressed with, with every scent no matter which one you choose. Uh, with one I already own the original. I could not tell the difference at all. That was with Floral Pear. Um, with Floral Honeysuckle, um, you know, I already have one line from Gucci, but Gucci Bloom is one that I was curious about to try, and I just love it. Um, with Floral Jasmine, um, I was also curious about Tom Ford, but 
I was just really, really impressed with the scent here. Um, and then Fruity Honey, again, another um, Joe Malone inspiration. And um, I've always been one to be more on the on the floral sides, but with this one, um, I just I just loved it as well. It's not overpowering. Neither of these scents are overpowering. They are just lovely. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I just loved going through each of these scents and, and trying them out and testing them out. And they are scents that I'm just going to use for a really long time and also repurchase as well. So thank you so much for watching my video. Be sure to subscribe and like and comment as well and stay tuned for more upcoming videos that will be heading your way really soon. So until next time, I will see you soon. Bye.